Welcome to another video. This is the Rising Rain Picker, and we're at Dollar Tree, and it's time to get a retail arbitrage on. Let's go find some stuff to sell for profit. I don't know. Welcome back to another video. All right, we're trying to find some stuff for profit in Dollar Tree to sell on Amazon FBA. Um, retail arbitrage is basically <clears throat> going into retail stores, finding stuff full price, selling it on eBay or Amazon. So this is awesome because it's you know really hard to do. It looks a little easier than said than done, but we're gonna see in this Dollar Tree if we can find anything for a dollar that we can sell for more. Can you show the front, please? Got this basket. They were out of freaking carts. Can you believe that? All right. Looking for something that I can sell for some good money. Whether it be Amazon or eBay. I'm hoping Amazon because it's just easier. You know what I mean? It's just way easier to sell, you know, send stuff in on Amazon that you're going to profit a couple bucks. I don't like to list stuff on eBay where you're not going to profit that much, you know what I mean? <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. It's been crazy. So, <sighs> first off, if I want to sell, I'm going to I'm going to go to the Amazon seller app, which is basically right here and you know, if I want to scan something, I'm going to go add a product and then push this little camera up here. Seriously, trying to find something to sell. Um, haven't found nothing yet. Scan these. They're like 430,000 in grocery. Um, the thing is, with grocery, is it's a million ASIN. So 430,000 is like 40. I mean, it's, it's huge. So you want to do like top, probably uh, 80,000 or below in grocery. That's the goal for me, anyway. I mean, that's for me. I love trying to find food items at Dollar Tree. For me, it's like the best, food items are the best for me sometimes. It just depends. So I'm trying to just look around, see what I can find. There's like so much, there's so much shit in here. There's so much to scan, there's so much to scan. This. Look at this stuff. It's a hazelnut chocolate Italian spread. I'm gonna scan on Amazon if you get the Amazon the Amazon app. So it's like a million in grocery, so it's not even good. So never sleep on the candy aisle at Dollar Tree, because I'm gonna tell you why here in a minute. It's freaking awesome. So gluten-free and sugar-free items are always good. I'm gonna buy it. Why am I gonna buy it? Well, I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna buy it here in a second. <clears throat> so it's 29,000 in grocery, a lot of reviews, a lot of stars. It's five dollars and three cents. Not a lot of room. Um, you're making, you're spending like a dollar 20 with tax and you're making like a dollar ten with tax. So virtually you're doubling your money. Either way, you're doubling your money. So that's what you gotta understand is uh it's just a few bags. I'm gonna throw them in a box with a bunch of other shit. I'm gonna send it into Amazon FBA. I'm gonna make a dollar. It is what it is, right? Um I didn't come here just to solely do a Dollar Tree video. I came here because I needed to pick up a few things for myself anyway. And I figured like while I'm here, I might as well just shoot a video, right? And see what I can find since I haven't done a Dollar Tree video in so freaking long. So these are awesome. They're made with Splenda. So that's probably why they're selling for a little over $5 a pack. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of sellers. Doesn't look like there's that many sellers on them. To be honest, there's no... Wow... 
Okay. So, let's put this in perspective. So on that item, there's actually no FBA offers at all, which means it's amazing because since there's no FBA offers, there's only merch fulfilled offers. I can actually raise the price to maybe about $6.99, $6.95, raise it about a dollar and make an extra dollar. So I'm actually probably gonna make about $2.20 on each package of those because I'm gonna raise the price due to people being able to buy at FBA. Now, I think that's important because it's still ranked 29,000 with no FBA. It's insane, right? So I'm gonna buy all they have. Um, I don't know, I might even ask them if they have more in the back. So, I don't know, let's go ask. All right, so for the candy, we asked an employee if they could go check in the back for us, and they're about ready to come out. It's crazy, I didn't know Dollar Tree had a clearance aisle. Look at this. 25 cents. <laughs> it's insane. So you've seen that clearance aisle I found at my Dollar Tree? Does your Dollar Tree have that? Does your Dollar Tree have a clearance aisle like mine does? So it looks like uh, they put a bunch of stuff that's like damaged, stuff like that, in there for like maybe 25 cents uh, a pop for each item. Does your Dollar Tree have that at where you live, at your store? It's very odd to see the clearance aisle there, but I guess it is kind of like a clearance kind of aisle for the most part. So let me know down in the comments if your Dollar Tree has a clearance aisle like mine does. All right, we just got out of the Dollar Tree and we got that sugar-free hard candy, and I think I'm gonna go check one more Dollar Tree to see if I can find it at another one. Um, it's a good product and I kind of want to see if they have it at other stores too. I only found it at one so far, but I want to see if uh, maybe we can find it at one more. So let's go to another Dollar Tree and see maybe if we can locate this stuff. It's going to be hard to find. They only had a few bags here. We can find another 10 or 15 bags. I think we could probably make 40, 50, 60 bucks off of this one freaking product. All right, I'm driving to this other store to see if we can find the candy at another Dollar Tree. I just ran a freaking stop sign. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be able to find it. I don't know, but uh, it's gonna be awesome if we can. You know, if we could find another 10 bags or so, that would put us in some really, really good profits. So the only thing that we can do is uh, go check at another one. So let's go. It looks like it's gonna rain and uh, so yeah, it might be a crappy day, so let's go see if we can make some freaking money. All right, we're at the next location. This Dollar Tree, <laughs> I'm gonna show you something really crazy about this Dollar Tree, okay? You see this blue fence over here? Well, we're kinda in a really bad neighborhood, and what I mean by that is they've had murders, shootings, stuff like that around here. I'm gonna show you something crazy that I bet you, you have never seen at Dollar Tree almost ever before, and I wanna show you this. Just a second. I bet you, you have never seen a Dollar Tree with a barbed wire fence before around it. Uh, this is the Dollar Tree barbed wire fence. Crazy. All right, we just got in the store and uh, we're gonna go check and see if they have those candies, I guess over there. So see if we can make some more money. So I don't know if they will or not because every Dollar Tree is different. They have different stuff. So I guess we're just gonna go straight up and see if they have the candy over there right now. We're trying to find it, so let's go. All right, we're looking for it. Seems if they have it. Um, we found one, they do have it. So we found one right here. Here's some more right here. So got four more packages. I don't know if they have any more or not. It doesn't look like they do. So looks like we're pretty much screwed on that part. Probably not gonna find any more at this uh, at this location, and that could be a few different things. Maybe they just don't carry a lot. I don't know. But the last store checked in the back, and they didn't have any more in the back. So we're uh, 
going to continue to look for some other stuff. Here's the same brand, but fruit shoes. I think, yeah, these are hard candies, so that's maybe why they sell so good is they're hard candies. Um, a fruit chew, right now you can't really send chewy stuff into the Amazon FBA warehouse due to the summer months. So I found one other thing in that store, but I'm not going to show you all because every YouTuber has to have his secrets. And what I mean by that, let me explain this real quick to you. Because I want, I want you to know this. I want you to know my business. I want to be open about my business. But I also want you to know this. So I found one other thing in that store, and I'm thinking about making a Dollar Tree top five video, like top five finds at Dollar Tree. But the reason I'm not going to show you is because everybody has to have their secrets and especially Amazon sellers, we all have to have our secrets. If I give you everything, I would never be able to make money. And if I can't make money, then I'm just making money off YouTube and I'm not really selling, but I am really selling and I have to make money. So maybe one day I will let you know what I found. Um, I'm thinking about making like maybe a top five video finds at Dollar Tree and uh, that would be awesome to show you guys that.